Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here, back again with another video. Uh, for today, we're gonna be continuing our recent pickups series where I go over all the recent pickups that I have uh, acquired over the past coming months. I haven't done this in about eight months. Uh, so we have a pretty big buildup of items. I think it's around 73 um, is what I just counted. So what we'll do is we'll start off with tops, go to bottoms, then footwear, and then end with outerwear. So I hope you guys enjoy. I know these videos are super popular just because I'm showing what these items uh, look like on body and showing the details up, uh, you know, more closely than you could see on an Instagram post or on Grail, for instance. Uh, so yeah, it should be pretty fun and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first off, we have a Jumbo T sub leg. So usually these are sold in three packs. And so these next three T's are gonna be from one pack. Uh, this one is a size three and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the jumbo cut is sort of like Vism's take on an oversized and boxy t-shirt. So we have a uh, drop shoulder design, elongated sleeves, wide in the body and slightly cropped and then usually has one chest pocket. Uh, for the Sublick series, they do do a little bit of hand stitching on the bottom there, just kind of like a signature thing uh, that they do on the Sublick collections. And yeah, I believe this is made out of a garment dyed uh, cotton. And as you can see, it has some color variation throughout and just a really nice, simple khaki uh, t-shirt. Okay, so this is the second from the from the three pack. So this one is more of an olive green, uh, same details, same in garment dye finish, and yeah. Okay, and lastly from that pack, we have sort of a mix in between khaki and olive uh, green. Okay, moving on, we have another uh, sub leg jumbo tee. Uh, this one is in a really nice, uh, deep indigo color. This one's also garment dyed. Uh, the cotton on this one compared to the last is much softer and has more of a looser gauge. And if you can tell, it's a little bit see-through. Um, extremely comfortable fabric on this. Uh, this one is a size three and also from the spring summer 2022 collection. Moving on, um, once again, another Jumbo Tee. This one is actually a Mr. Porter exclusive, a uh, little collection that Vism did for them. Uh, this one is a size three in from the 2018 Spot collection. Uh, really, really comfortable. This is a uh, garment dyed black. As you can see, it does have a tone of brown in it. Um, this one was worn and faded um, a good amount. So that black is starting to fade to brown. We also have a V stencil print on the chest there. And yeah, just a simple t-shirt and some cool Vism branding. Next up, we have a Contrary Department Jumbo t-shirt. Uh, this is from their uh, newly released Spring Summer 2022 collection. Uh, I did size up to a size four on this one. I really wanted this t-shirt and all the three sold out. Uh, so I decided to size up. As you can see, it is pretty oversized on me, but same details as before. It actually has that same uh, loose gauge, kind of like heather cotton that we saw in the Indigo Sublig tee. And then obviously we have Vism's Contrary Department um, little stencil detail. I'm pretty sure this was a uh, silk screen uh, hand printed design which is pretty cool and yeah just a really simple and comfortable t-shirt all right moving on we have a uh, alumni jumbo tee from visvim uh, same exact fabric from the last tee and but it just has a wmv visvim uh, little stencil detail in greek letters this one is a size three and from the spring summer 2022 collection.
Okay, next up we have a jumbo uneven die tee. Uh, so for those of you who aren't familiar with their uneven die series, they uh, use a machine that rotates cylinders around and they actually uh, put the t-shirt or whatever they're dying into this machine and apply the dye and it actually uh, applies the dye unevenly throughout the fabric uh, so that no two tees are alike and it just creates this really cool um, tie-dye kind of like uneven effect throughout the shirt uh, so this one is actually dyed in their black uneven dye and they also do some pretty cool hand distressing on the collar and then on the cuffs and then the hem as well as you can see uh, this one is a size 2 and from the spring summer 2021 collection Okay, and uh, pretty much this is the same exact t-shirt, just in their green uneven dye. Uh, you can see the color variation kind of tie-dye effect a lot more clearly in this one. Uh, this one is a size three and from the same exact season. Okay, moving on, we have a Jumbo T Crash. Uh, their Crash series are sort of like their vintage-esque inspired t-shirts uh, so what they do is they do a very very heavy fading heavy washing and then they do a uh, uh, hand distressing throughout as you can see there's a bunch of holes all throughout and then they also do the hand distressing on the collar cuffs and the hem as well and just a really really interesting t-shirt it looks like a t-shirt that's been worn for years and uh, i really love this purple color that they did uh, this one is a size two and from the fall winter 2021 collection. Okay, so this is the same exact t-shirt just in a light green colorway. And this also has an Amplis cut. Uh, Amplis and Jumbo are super similar, except the Amplis is a little bit more oversized and boxy and a little bit more cropped than Jumbo and I'm pretty sure it has uh, slightly longer sleeves. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the same uh, crash processing. So we have heavy uh, fading on the shoulders and then obviously we have this hand distressing holes throughout the entire uh, fabric of the t-shirt. Uh, this one is a size two and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Okay, and finishing up the t-shirts, we have a uh, Amplis t-shirt uh, mud dye. Um, I've talked about mud dye a bunch throughout this channel. Uh, super old ancient dyeing process where they uh, pretty much dip the t-shirt in mud um, in an island in Amami, Japan. It's the only island in the entire world that does this ancient uh, dyeing process. And as you can see, it leaves it with this incredible brown uh, color with color variations throughout the fabric. Uh, probably one of my favorite dyeing techniques that this one does. Uh, this one is a size three and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Moving on to the shirting category, we have a uh, social sculpture border tunic from their Mr. Portive exclusive collection. So with the border tunic, we have a oversized wide and cropped silhouette, uh, drop shoulder design, adjustable cuffs, and uh, a V-neck opening. Uh, so this is made out of their eight ounce selvage um, social sculpture denim. As you can see, it does have selvage piping throughout the fabric. Um, he has these really nice adjustable cuffs using uh, painted damaged aluminum buttons. Uh, we have a velvet um, v-neck opening with this loop button closure as you can see a rounded chest pocket and then the best part i think is this patchwork design of vintage red bandanas kind of going all the way around and it gives this really cool native american inspired look and i really dig it um, it does have a side split hem and yeah, really, really cool and interesting shirt. Uh, this one is a size four.
Moving on, we have this is Granger shirt in a chambray patchwork. Uh, this one is a size four and from the spring summer 2016 collection. The Granger shirt has a pretty regular cut uh, and then curved hems, adjustable cuffs, and then a front button placket. Uh, it's made out of a very light and comfortable chambray material. Uh, has these really nice cow bone buttons throughout. And then the main thing of the Granger shirt is they actually use this patchwork design of a bunch of fabrics from the same season. Uh, so this is from the Kahuna petals. And then this is the Wally shirt. As, I, as you can see, the patchwork panels run all the way to the back as well. It's just a really cool, interesting uh, shirt and gives that Western Americana kind of effect that Vism is very, very good at doing. Okay, uh, moving on, we have the Albacore Chamayo shirt. So Albacore shirting is usually just a regular fit um, button up shirt with a front button placket, one chest pocket, and then adjustable cuffs. And then obviously the word Abercore actually indicates that it has a fabric insert at the um, elbows there. And uh, I really, really enjoy these shirts. It's a really cool thing to switch up a formal button up shirt and make it a little bit more casual with that fabric insert. Uh, this particular one has amazing uh, buffalo horn buttons. And then obviously this uh, elbow insert is made out of a Chamayo native blanket um, that is natural dyed. As you can see, it's very, very textured and hairy and it has started to pill after a lot of wears. And just to give this really cool effect and again, that native um, inspired look. This one is a, pretty sure it's a size four and from the spring summer uh, 2018 collection. Okay, and next up we have another Albacore shirt. Uh, same exact details as the one before. Uh, actually, I forgot to mention this one, as well as the last one, use a Egyptian Giza cotton fabric, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, this one actually has ivory cowbone buttons instead of buffalo horn. And then the fabric insert is made out of this natural indigo dyed uh, bandana printed KD fabric. So as you can see, it has incredible color variation throughout and uh, really nice bandana print on this hand spun Katie uh, fabric. Uh, this one is also a size four and it's from the spring summer 2020 collection. Okay, moving on, we have uh, Vism's PVT herringbone shirt. Uh, this one is a size four and from the spring summer 2017 collection. Uh, this uses an incredible heavyweight cotton herringbone construction. We have uh, two chest pockets, some FIL um, hand embroidery there, a regular fit on the shoulders, adjustable cuffs. Um, these buttons are, I believe are vegetable ivory. And then the best part about the PV t-shirt is a hand-drawn, I feel free uh, motif on the back. Um, hopefully you can see it in more detail um, when I turn around for the uh, wraparound shot. Um, but yeah, just a really cool shirt. Um, awesome details. I really like these oversized rounded uh, chest pockets and then the embroider um, hit on the chest there. And just a really cool, fun and unique shirt. Okay, and finishing off the shirting, we have the dugout shirt, uh, Park Ranger. This one is a size four. And from the fall winter 2018 collection, uh, Vism's Park Ranger series usually features this really nice mid-weight wool linen blend fabric. And the dugout shirt itself, uh, obviously inspired after vintage uh, baseball jerseys. 
It has a pretty regular cut. Um, I would even say it's on the slimmer side, so sizing up is probably the best bet. Uh, we have three quarter uh, cut sleeves, a baseball collar, and then we have a halfway hidden button front placket. Uh, some details on this. We have this incredible chain stitching that runs along the hems and then along the collar as well. Uh, we have these really nice black buffalo horn buttons. As you can see, really, really nice detailing on these. Um, other than that, we have just a pretty simple baseball shirt and kind of gives nod to that uh, vintage Americana aesthetic. And yeah, really cool, unique, and casual shirt from Bissell. Okay, and starting off the sweatshirts, hoodies, and knitwear, uh, we have the ICT Mondo sweatshirt. Uh, this one is a size two and from the Spring Summer 2022 collection. Uh, with the Mondo sweat, it usually features a oversized, wide, boxy silhouette, uh, usually with a cropped length, as you can see here. Um, they usually, do a cutoff here at their shoulder and then they leave it raw with a little stitch for reinforcement. Um, I really like the Mondo sweat. Um, the silhouette and construction of it is really interesting and unique. Uh, the dye on this one is a very, very dark black indigo over dye. Um, so as you can see, it has a very slight um, fading and color variation throughout the fabric and with wear this thing is going to fade like crazy and uh, yeah i really like this shirt um, pretty unique offering from Vizim. i believe they started doing these a couple seasons ago and uh yeah really enjoy them all right moving on we have a uh, jumbo sweatshirt basic stencil so just like the jumbo t-shirts, the jumbo sweatshirts kind of have the same silhouette and details. So we have a wide and oversized silhouette with a slightly cropped body and then a drop shoulder design. Uh, this one is a very, very nice burgundy and then features this Visvim stencil detail here on the bottom. Uh, this one is a size three and from the fall winter 2017 collection. All right, moving on, we have pretty much the same exact sweatshirt, just in a gray colorway. All right, and moving on, we have an ICT Jumbo sweatshirt uh, crash. So same silhouette as, as the previous sweatshirts, but this one obviously features this crash processing. So we have hand distressed holes all the way throughout and then a really really nice vintage fade and then as you can see it has this very faint ICT stencil detailing on the chest there. This one is a size 4 and from the uh, spring summer 2020 collection. All right, and moving on, we have Vizim's Contrary Department Jumbo Sweatshirt Short Body 3 4 Crash. It's sort of a mouthful, uh, but pretty much it's just the Jumbo Silhouette uh, with a slightly more cropped body than the regular Jumbo Silhouette. And then they have this 3 4 cut sleeve with a raw hem. Uh, this is from their military workwear focus sub label called Contrary Department. And this is from their newly released uh, Spring Summer 2022 collection. And it is a size three. Uh, so it being crash, it does feature a little bit of paint marks and then crash processing. So we have hand distressing kind of everywhere throughout the fabric. Obviously we have the three fourth cut sleeve, this really nice V um, neck stitching and then distressing on the collar as well. Really, really enjoying these, um, it's pretty, uh, casual and relaxed uh, sweatshirt. 
Okay, and again, this is the same exact uh, sweatshirt, just in an olive green. So as you can see, really nice fading uh, throughout the shoulder area. We have green uh, paint splatter in this area, and then obviously hand distressing, uh, that crash processing uh, that Vism does so well. All right, and moving on to hoodies, we have this uh, jumbo hoodie in this green. Uh, I believe this is a stencil as well. Uh, as you can see, they kind of stencil the number of production it is. So this one was 135 and then has this really nice garment dyed green colorway. Uh, this one is a size three and from the spring summer 2018 collection. All right, uh, moving on, this is pretty much the same exact hoodie, uh, just in a white colorway. And it looks like this one was number 922 in production. Uh, moving on, once again, another jumbo hoodie, but this is the hand numbered version. So they actually have skilled craftsmen in Kyoto, Japan, do a hand numbering. Looks like this one was 255 in production. Uh, has this really, really nice, incredible brown colorway in this uh, loose gauge kind of loop back jersey cotton, which I'm really, really liking. Uh, this one is also a size three and from the fall winter 2018 collection. Uh, moving on, we have another jumbo hoodie uh, from their contrary department line. This one is a size two and from the uh, spring summer 2019 collection. So it's just this really simple khaki hoodie, um, but has this painted stencil contrary department motif along the chest. As you can see with where the paint has kind of rubbed off and cracked and shows really cool wear um, throughout time. I just think that's just a really cool thing with Vism clothing, how it ages and changes with wear. All right, moving right along, we have a jumbo hoodie and an uneven dye. Uh, this one is a size four and from the spring summer 2021 collection, uh, has this extremely nice purple color as you can see it has that tie-dye uneven effect throughout as we saw in the previous t-shirts and uh, I personally think this colorway is the best hoodie from that season in terms of the uneven dye series uh, the color really really um, applied well with this uneven treatment and yeah just a really really nice hoodie All right, next up we have a uh, Ampless uneven dye. Uh, as you can see, this one is pretty, pretty huge on me. It's a size four Ampless. Uh, usually I tend to size down on the Ampless cuts. Um, so you guys can see, I would recommend if you're a true size five, go with this size four. Um, it's got this really, really nice uneven red color. Um, and it's from the spring summer 2020 collection. All right, moving on, we have another Ampless hoodie in the uneven dye. This one is an uneven dye yellow. This one is actually a short body iteration. So again, that means it's the regular Ampless cut, just with a slightly more cropped nature in the body. Uh, this one is a size two, and from the spring summer 2022 collection, uh, this one really caught my eye. Yellow is one of my favorite colors and I thought um, the way the uneven dye applied was very, very nice. It almost looks like a very, very faded pastel yellow and uh, I really, really like it.
Moving on, we have the Zoom's uh, Native Jet Card Knit in this really nice uh, yellow colorway. This one is a size four and from the Fall Winter 2017 collection. So this Jet Card Knit has a pretty regular fit with a thick ribbed hem, a uh, slightly drop shoulder design, and then this thick ribbed collar as well. And then features this really nice Jet Card print detailing of uh, Indian heads, arrows throughout. As you can see, it definitely has that native um, characteristic to it. Uh, this one is made out of a 100% um, British wool, and it is a, ta a tad on the itchier side, um, but if you wear a t-shirt underneath, you'll be fine. Uh, I would say this is pretty mid-weight, um, be really good for kind of like the fall and winter seasons. Okay, and finishing off the knit section, we have the Amplis Gradient Knit in this incredible green colorway. Uh, this one is a size three and from the Spring Summer 2022 collection. Um, so it says here it uses a blend of wool, nylon, and cashmere um, and has the Amplis cut. So we have a very wide in the chest, cropped in the body drop shoulders. Um, it being a knit fabric, we do have ribbing on the cuffs, on the collar, and on the hem as well. And then it being called gradient, as you can see why, it actually does a gradient of different colors um, throughout the fabric and it changes. And I just think this knit is extremely interesting and uh, I really love the cut on it as well. Um, you don't really see oversized knits too often. Um, so that's what drawed me to this piece. That, and then we have this incredible hand-stitched Vs um, placed throughout the fabric. I just think it's a really pop of color and uh, really adds to the whole gradient and uneven effect of the knit. And uh, yeah, I really love this one. All right, and starting off the uh, bottom section of the video, we have here some chino shorts. I um, believe these are a damaged version. Uh, they are tagged size four and from the spring summer uh, 2015 collection. Uh, I believe these were garment dyed and then damaged process, leaving them with uh, really nice fading and color variation throughout. Uh, they have a pretty regular fit throughout the leg, um, a high rise button fly, and it also does have a cinch back um, at the back there. Uh, two inset back pockets and then two slanted front pockets as well. Just a really nice short uh, for the sum summer. Super simple and versatile. All right, moving right along, we have these Eager Sanction Shorts in Olive. Uh, these are tag size two and from the Spring Summer 2019 collection. Uh, uses this really nice mid-weight cotton canvas fabric and uh, obviously has the military cargo um, design details. So we have a multitude of snap button pockets. So both on the front slanted pockets, the uh, side cargo pockets, and then the back pockets as well. Um, it does feature side cinch uh, waist adjustments, uh, some integrated uh, buttons for suspenders. It does actually have some belted loops on the bottom here and some integrated belts in the cargo pockets. It does have a pretty regular fit again uh, through the leg and then a raw cut hem here at the bottom. And uh, yeah, just great color and great military aesthetic that you have with these. Uh, definitely a must-have uh, for the summer uh, in terms of shorts. Moving along, we have these ICT Chino shorts in this really nice indigo dyed uh, cotton herringbone fabric. Uh, so these pretty much have the same design details as the previous Chino shorts. So we have a high-rise regular fit through the leg 
uh, button fly, slanted pockets, cinch back, and some inset back pockets. Uh, really nice detail about these, if you can see, they do feature some um, ICT uh, cochineal dive branding here at the hip. And yeah, just a really cool vibrant pair. Definitely if you want to add a pop of color um, in your wardrobe for the summer, this is a really nice option. Next up, we have these high water chinos in sort of a khaki olive colorway. Uh, these are tagged size four and from the fall winter 2018 collection. Uh, so similar fit to the shorts. We have a uh, mid rise here, pretty regular fit through the waist. Uh, kind of a straight fit through the leg and then a cropped length. Uh, really, really nice and uh, comfortable cotton used on these. And uh, I really like the center pleat. It uh, definitely makes it a little bit more formal, but um, again, still casual with that cropped and relaxed fit through the leg. Um, it does have a button fly, uh, two side slant pockets, a cinch back detail, and then back pockets once again. Um, yeah, really nice and comfortable pair. Uh, definitely perfect for this uh, summer uh, weather. All right, moving on, we have these Hakamo uh, Chino pants in this beige color. These are tagged a size three and from the Fall Winter 2017 collection. Uh, they use a really nice Egyptian Giza uh, chino cotton fabric. We have a center pleat down the, down the middle, a high rise wide fit throughout the hip and the leg, and we have a slightly cropped inseam. Uh, as you can see, these are extremely relaxed. Uh, we have some really nice pleating going on down um, at the waist, a uh, uh, button fly, two side slanted pockets uh, and we have some back pockets here as well a uh, really nice relaxed fit um, sort of a japanese inspired chino pant and uh, yeah i really really enjoy these especially if you're trying to uh, switch it up from a normal uh, chino this is definitely a really good option Uh, moving on, we have these uh, Social Sculpture 10 unwashed uh, denim pants. Uh, the 10 cut is usually characterized by a pretty slim and tapered uh, leg with a low rise and then a cropped inseam. It does actually feature a uh, selvage outseam, uh, which is really nice to see. We have a button fly and then a uh, regular waist. I definitely recommend sizing up on these. I'm usually like a 31, 32 in waist, and I would take a 34 in these. Uh, they're tagged 36 by 28, so they are a little, are a little bit big on me, um, but definitely recommend that sizing up. Uh, these are from the Spring Summer 2019 collection, and yeah, these are pretty much the best you're gonna get with uh, raw denim, especially because uh, this cut you don't really see too often in traditional uh, pair of selvage jeans. Uh, I really enjoy this cropped nature and uh, this uh, definitely slimmer cut in the leg. And uh, I think it's a really good option if you want to wear raw denim in the summer, uh, for instance. All right, moving on, we have a pair of Social Sculpture 10 uh, Damage 20. So this is the same cut as the raw denim seen previously. Uh, but this is part of their uh, damage series. So the 20 damage is characterized by pretty significant fading along the thigh. And then we have some patch and repair work here on the knee, as well as on the back, if you could see that. Um, again, I really like this cut for the summer. You give your ankles a little bit more room to breathe, uh, which is really nice, especially when it's warmer outside. Uh, these are also tagged to size 36 by 28. I do recommend actually sizing uh, two times up with the washed 10 cut as opposed to the unwashed uh, 10 just because these do have a little bit more shrink shrinkage in them um, um, as opposed to the raw denim. Yeah, this is a really nice pair and I really, really enjoy uh, the washing and damage processing, processing that they did on these.
Next up, we have uh, Vincent's Social Sculpture um, 03 Damage 12. Uh, so the 03 cut is a regular slim and tapered throughout the leg. We have a mid-rise and a, a zipper fly. Uh, the Damage 12 has this really nice distressing and then has some patch re repair work here along the hip and on the knee as well. Um, I believe there's a little bit of damaging on the leg back here. Uh, these are tags size 34 by 32. I do recommend sizing up one size with the 03 cut. Um, and then these are from the Spring Summer 2017 collection. Uh, just, yeah, just a really nice, casual, simple pair of denim and uh, really nice option for everyday wear. Next up, we have these uh, Cornell slacks in a really nice olive uh, brown uh, colorway. These are from the Fall Winter 2011 collection and are tagged size three. Um, for the Cornell slacks, they do have a pretty slim and tapered fit throughout the leg, a uh, mid-rise zipper fly, and then a hook clasp closure. They do have really nice waist adjustments on either side. Uh, two uh, side um, inset front pockets, two buttoned back pockets, and uh, uh, th these use a really nice cotton and linen blend, uh, sort of like dress fabric. They do have a really nice weight to them. Um, I really like how they fall on shoes. Um, they do have a full length and a uh, really nice kind of casual dress um, option for for any season really um, yeah just a really nice pair of pants all right next up we have these high water slacks that uses a hundred percent vintage net wool um, this fabric is probably uh, one of the coolest fabrics I've ever felt from Visbim um, it's an extremely lightweight and breathable uh, vintage nep wool and uh, has really nice uh, tactile unevenness and texture and then it does have a really cool blend of navy and white streaks of uh, yarns uh, it has a really nice uh, loose kind of regular cut throughout the leg with a cropped inseam we have a high-rise zipper fly hook clasp closure um, a nice pleat down the center uh, two inset pockets. Uh, you can't see it because of the belt, but it does have waist adjustments on either side, just like the Cornell pants. Uh, we do have uh, back button um, back pockets. And yeah, this is a really nice offering, especially if you are looking for a casual yet formal pair of pants that you can dress up or down. Uh, these are super easy to do that with and a really nice offering from Vizbin. Um, these are tag size four and from the uh, Spring Summer 2016 collection. All right, moving on, we have Visvim's ICT sweatpants uh, damaged. These are in a really, really nice uh, lime green colorway. Uh, they were garment dyed and then damaged processed. So as you can see, they do have pretty nice fading along the thighs and they do have the same typical fading along the the butt area. Uh, these sweatpants are tag size one and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Uh, they have slanted inset front pockets, uh, no back pockets. They do have an adjustable drawstring at the waist. These do fit extremely oversized. Um, it's almost like one size fits all and then you just use the drawstring to tighten it up to your waist size. Uh, we do have a pretty regular uh, slim cut throughout the leg and it does have a pretty elongated length so you do get a good amount of stacking at the bottom. Uh, we do have some hem adjustments here um, and uh, yeah these are really nice uh, cool vibrant sweatpants uh, especially I'm thinking you wear this like uh, summer nights and just have a cool pop of color while still staying uh, warm and really comfortable. But yeah really cool pair of pants from Visman.
All right, moving on, we have uh, ICT Veterans Pants. Uh, these are tag size three and from the Fall Winter 2018 collection. Uh, so the Veterans Pants typically have a wide and oversized fit with uh, two cargo pockets on either side. Um, we have no front pockets and then we do have um, some button back pockets as well and then the veterans pants do feature a uh, cinch bag detail on the back there uh, these are made out of an extremely heavyweight uh, black cotton canvas i this is probably the heaviest thing that i've ever felt from visman um, they feel extremely durable and almost like uh, dickie's work pants um, they were really long but i did give them a couple cuffs um, just so you guys can see how they fit on me so they're not so my shoes aren't like drowning in them uh, but they have an extremely high rise with a button fly and uh, on the lining they do feature uh, vintage white bandanas which is super cool um, I believe on the back here we do have some ICT embroidery uh, stitching uh, which is a really nice detail to see and uh, yeah this is a really cool um, durable pants if you're going for kind of like the workwear aesthetic uh, this is a really nice offering All right, moving on, we have these ICT canvas braces pants. Uh, these are tag size four and from the uh, Spring Summer 2019 collection. Uh, so the canvas pants have a pretty oversized and relaxed fit. Um, definitely oversized in the waist so that you have to use these suspenders. We have a pretty high rise and a regular wide fit throughout the leg. And then one center pleat down the middle with a cuffed inseam at the bottom. Uh, definitely a really cool and interesting look. Uh, you're not gonna see many brands do uh, suspender pants, and uh, I think Vism is probably one of the best at um, making these style of pants. Uh, they do actually feature a cinch back here, uh, which is really nice, especially if you wanna wear these without the suspenders. Uh, you can use that cinch back to kind of make the waist a little bit more manageable. Uh, these have a really nice indigo over dye on them. Uh, so they have really nice hues of blues and purples and uh, I think it's a really nice look and I especially like how these style of pants stack on uh, low top sneakers uh, especially and yeah so it's pretty pretty cool pants from Visman. Alright and next up we have Visman's high water drill mill pants in this really nice uh, beige herringbone. These are tag size four and from the fall winter 2020 collection. Uh, the drill mill is characterized by a pretty uh, mid rise, a regular fit throughout the waist, a slim and kind of regular cut throughout the leg. We have a uh, cropped inseam and then side split hems here at the bottom. Um, I really like the side split hems because they actually uh, fall very nicely on shoes. Uh, they have really nice military style uh, patch pockets on the front and then we have some fold over buttoned pockets on the back here. Uh, this does feature two side waist adjustments uh, which is really nice to see and then has this very very nice mid-weight cotton herringbone. Um, they're actually kind of flowy which is kind of cool. Um, we have a zipper fly and uh, I really like how these specifically um, fit on me. This pant, the high water drill mill, is actually probably one of my uh, favorite pants that Visma makes. I just think they fit my body very nicely and uh, super happy to add these to the collection. All right, moving right along, we have Visum's Gifford pants. Uh, these ones are tagged size three and from the uh, spring summer 2022 collection. Uh, so the Gifford pants are characterized by a pretty regular fit with a straight leg. And uh, usually they feature some sort of uh, crash processing. So as you can see here on the leg, we have incredible uh, damaging and repair processing, uh, which is really, really nice definitely attention to detail 
um, is A1 on these. And then they do feature this really nice damaged faded processing along the thighs here. Uh, and then we have some hand distressing along the hem as well. Uh, these are labeled as black, but to me, they come off as more of a navy. Uh, they do feature a really nice button fly, uh, two side slanted uh, front pockets, and then we have some patch pockets here at the back. Uh, tag size three, I would say you wanna size up with Gifford pants. Uh, they do fit a little uh, tight in the hip area, so sizing up actually gives you uh, the ample amount of room that you need. Um, but yeah, other than that, you're good. These have quickly become probably one of my favorite pants in my collection. Just so wearable and so versatile on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, next up we have Visdom's Hakama pants in a black wool linen herringbone fabric. Uh, these are tag size one and from the fall winter 2018 collection. Uh, they do feature a really nice herringbone uh, style pattern with this uh, purple pinstriping throughout, uh, which is really nice to see. We do have a center pleat down the middle, a wide and straight leg with some pleating along the waist area. And then we do have an integrated belt again, which is really nice to see. Uh, really nice buffalo horn buttons here at the waist. And uh, yeah, just a simple sort of casual uh, dressy style pant, especially if you're going to go for a wider silhouette, this is a really nice option. All right, next up we have Vism Social Sculpture L1 Slim uh, Damage 31. These are tagged a 32 by 32 and from the Spring Summer 2022 collection. Uh, so the O1 Slim is pretty much their O1 cut, which is their uh, 501 Vintage Levi's inspiration, but just with a slightly more tapered leg. Uh, the Damage 31 features really nice patchwork and um, distressing here, uh, much like the Gifford pants that I showed earlier. Uh, but these have quickly become probably one of my favorite denim uh, pairs in my collection. I just really like the distressed and casual nature of them. And uh, I really like the natural fading along the thighs. Uh, the O1 Slim does feature a pretty high rise, a uh, button fly, and a really cool selvage out seam, as you can see here at the bottom. But yeah, just a simple pair of denim with that little flare uh, with uh, hand distressing and repair work. All right, and finishing up bottoms, we have their uh, Carpenter Pants Prime in this Wabash damaged fabric. Uh, so these have a pretty uh, regular and wide cut throughout the leg, a high rise, uh, two patch pockets on the front, uh, two back pockets, and then a cinch back detail uh, at the back. Um, this does have a button fly as well and uses these really nice um, uh, vegetable ivory nut buttons. And every single button is actually different, uh, which is a really cool look. Uh, the material itself uses this really nice uh, salvage wabash uh, denim fabric. It's extremely light and flowy. It's gonna be perfect for um, a, warmer, a warmer climate. And then it does feature uh, this hand distressed and patchwork uh, detailing on the legs, um, which I'm really liking. These are tag size two and from the spring summer 2015 collection. Uh, they are pretty rare and hard to find. Uh, I've been wanting them for years, so to add them to, to the collection is, uh, is a dream come true. It does have some uh, repair work on the legs here, if you can see, and uh, just really nice attention to detail with these pants. Okay, starting off the footwear section, we have Vism's Chamberlain High uh, sneakers in an ivory colorway. Uh, these ones are tag size 9, and I would say they fit pretty true to size. They use a mix of Italian horse hide um, leather with some Italian cow suede, and uh, they have different shades of cream, I, I guess I would say. So we have more of a tan color for the suede, an off-white color for the leather on the toe cap, and then over here we have more of a white color 
uh, along the toe of the foot. We have some tonal rope lacing and then a white mesh tongue. These are really nice and very comfortable. We have some Vism branding here at the midsole. And if you're looking for that uh, Jordan 1 alternative and you want sort of a higher end version of that, um, these are a really good bet. And uh, if you guys like these, I um, thoroughly recommend you uh, pick them up. All right, next up we have Vism's uh, Canoe Mach 2 uh, Folk Sneakers in this really nice brown colorway. Uh, these ones are tag size 9 and also fit pretty true to size. Uh, they use an incredible uh, vegetable tanned French leather uh, for the uppers. And as you can see, it has incredible pebbling and texture throughout. Uh, it does feature a hand-stitched moccasin style toe. Uh, we have some tonal uh, raw leather rope lacing and then a 100% natural crepe um, outsole. These are extremely, extremely comfortable and uh, even has a little bit of a foam midsole here uh, for comfort along the heel. Uh, we have some Vism branding here on the side and uh, yeah, definitely a pretty simple pair of sneakers, uh, but definitely elevated with this really nice pebbled leather and uh, very wearable if you're going for the uh, Americana um, look. Next up we have Vism's Grizzly Boots uh, High Folk. Uh, these ones are tag size 10. I would say you want to size down a half size with Grizzlies. They, they do fit a tad big. Uh, these particular ones are from the Spring Summer 2018 collection and uses this really nice vegetable tanned uh, cow suede. Along with that, we have a vegetable tanned cow leather um, pretty much paneled along the bottom part here. Uh, we do have a leather stacked midsole and then a Vibram lug outsole. Uh, this outsole specifically is actually uh, made by Mr. Hiroki Nakamura himself. He actually did design this outsole, um, which is really cool. We do have um, some Japanese canvas paneling here on the shaft, um, raw leather, brown uh, laces, and then we do have a uh, Swiss Riri zipper side zip along the side here. Uh, definitely a really cool um, moccasin style hiker boot from Visvim. Uh, they're pretty popular, people love them, and there's a reason why. They're pretty durable and uh, they're gonna last for years and they look great with this uh, kind of Japanese Americana that Visvim does so very well. Next up, we have once again, another pair of Grizzly boots. Uh, these ones are from the 2015 Spot Collection and they actually use this incredible uh, vegetable tanned uh, Horween leather uppers. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Horween, they are uh, one of the oldest leather tanneries from the United States, States based out of Chicago. And they're known for their exceptional quality and craftsmanship, especially when it comes to um, leather. Uh, these ones are in a really nice orange colorway with some dark brown um, paneling uh, here on the shaft. We do have a really nice hand-painted uh, leather tongue tab, some tonal rope lacing, and the uh, same kind of details that we saw before. So we have the uh, leather stacked midsole and then the Vibram lug outsole. This one does feature a Visrum branded uh, TPU heel support. Uh, which is really nice and then we have some silver uh, lacing hardware there uh, but yeah these things are extremely heavy and i know that i could pretty much uh, take anything with them and they're gonna last an insane amount of time and i can't win wait to break them in and wear them for years to come All right, and fishing off footwear, we have these ICT uh, Virgil Boots Folk. These are tag size nine and a half and fit true to size. Uh, they're made out of a vegetable tanned Belgium leather, and then they are actually mud dyed. So they actually stick the boot and bury it in mud for about two weeks, and it leaves it with this incredible color variation 
and uh, pretty much dirty effect throughout the entire boot. Um, I really like the processing on it. It takes a crazy amount of time and really gives it um, a really cool worn in and vintage characteristic. We do have a tonal pair of rope lacing, um, some oxidized brass lacing hardware, a leather stack midsole, uh, TPU heel support, and then a Vibram wedge sole. Um, definitely a really wearable boot, uh, especially because of the color. You can pretty much wear it with any pair of pants. And uh, I think it's a really nice offering from Visvim. If you're interested, I uh, highly recommend to add it to your collection. All right, starting off the outerwear, we have a section gang coverall in a mustard colorway. Uh, this one is a size two and from the spring summer 2018 collection. As you guys can see, this one fits extremely oversized for it even being a size two. Uh, so I would definitely recommend to size down if you guys are interested. Uh, but the coverall ha obviously has an oversized fit, uh, regular shoulders, um, front button placket and then uh, two front waist pockets uh, This is actually made out of a pretty heavy weight and durable cotton canvas fabric and then it has really nice metal engraved peerless branded uh, buttons uh, We really have really nice contrast brown uh, rivet reinforced stitching on the front pockets there and then we have adjustable cuffs as well All right, moving on, we have Visim's 104 jacket, uh, CMYK. Uh, this one is a size three in from the Spring Summer 2016 collection. Uh, the 104 jacket definitely has a trimmer fit, uh, true to its classic vintage inspiration. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with this sort of silhouette for denim jackets, this is pulled straight from the Lee Riders jacket. So typically they have two chest pockets that are more rounded and then they have two center pleats going down the center there. Uh, it has a really nice front button placket with uh, Visman branding and then has this mustard selvage ID um, piping throughout. Uh, adjustable cuffs, adjustable waist, and then has this uh, natural mud dyed brain tanned uh, elk skin back patch. And then obviously we have hidden um, side zipper pockets as well. Uh, it being CMYK, this was uh, garment dyed in this really nice green colorway. So you can see we have subtle fading and uh, yeah, it's a really nice casual and simple jacket. Moving along, we have this Sims Nomad jacket, uh, two and a half liter uh, Gore-Tex. This one is a size four, and from the Spring Summer 2015 collection. Uh, so the Nomad jacket has a pretty regular fit with an elongated body length. And I think what stands out about this jacket is the details. So uh, Nomad jackets typically have a uh, dual front closures. So we have a brass snap front placket along with a um, plastic zipper with a leather um, zipper pull. Pulling that down, we have this really nice indigo check fabric detailing um, throughout the fabric. We have that same detailing here along the hood, as you can see. And this acts sort of like a little hat to wick away any of the rain while it's raining. We have a hood adjuster on both sides, as you can see. Uh, two slanted front pockets that are also um, brass snaps. And then as you can see, the brass snaps are brand Vism branded as well. And then again, we have that fabric detailing um, on, on, on the underside of the fold over pocket. Uh, moving down below, as you can see, it is fitted with buttons on the inside, so you can attach it to um, on the linings of jackets. We have the size tag there and a little message, an interior chest pocket, and then obviously 
we have waist adjustments as well. As you can see, um, again, this is completely lined with Gore-Tex, so completely uh, waterproof. Um, we have a little cool brass snap um, button on the sleeve there. And then we also have adjustable cuffs as well. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy details. I could go on for days talking about this. And uh, I think it's like pretty much the quintessential um, rain jacket that you can find from Vism. But yeah, super versatile and uh, I love this jacket. Next up, we have Vism's kerchief down jacket in a um, mud dyed navy nylon fabric. Uh, this one is a size three in from the fall winter 2018 collection and it does use polish white uh, goose down for the filling uh, for those of you who don't know the kerchief jacket usually fits pretty regular um, usually has a front button placket and then two button chest pockets along with that it does feature cool western detailing on the front as well as the back uh, it has adjustable cuffs and then this fold over collar detail, like so. Um, some cool details with this one, it does feature a um, indigo dyed cotton linen lining. Uh, typically you see this lining on the inside of their um, bandana kerchief down jackets, but for this particular one, you only see it on the collar as well as the cuffs. Uh, cuffs are adjustable. And uh, I usually turn them up once just to expose that, that cool lining. And yeah, it's just a simple jacket. Uh, definitely gonna be warm and uh, super useful for the winter months. And yeah, I'm really, really liking uh, the look of this jacket. Okay, and moving along, we have this Vim's 101 XX uh, dry PK crash jacket. This one is a size three and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Uh, so the 101 XX takes the design cues from the traditional 101 jacket, uh, but it elevates it with um, an oversized wide and boxy silhouette. So we have drop shoulders, these huge uh, oversized balloon sleeves, and then a cropped body. It does have all the design cues as the 101 jacket. So you have the hidden side zipper pockets, adjustable um, waist, adjustable cuffs, and then you have an indigo dyed uh, brain tanned um, elk skin back patch. But with this one, it does use a um, dry processed uh, PK cotton fabric. So what they do is they actually remove all the oil out of that cotton fabric and it leaves us with this dry and textured finish much like you know vintage jackets that have been worn and washed you know hundreds of times and they also finish this off with hand distressing and repairing throughout and then uh, paint splatter detailing as well uh, this is probably the best example of visvim hand distressing and repairing in my opinion as you can even see on the elbows there, there's a bunch of pilling there. And then here as well. It's super subtle, but really shows the attention to detail and craftsmanship when it comes to his clothing. Um, and then it also has hand distressing a little bit on the collar there. But yeah, just a simple jacket, but you know, definitely um, it's a little bit more than the regular 101. Obviously it has a really cool silhouette and awesome detailing. So yeah, I really like this one. Okay, next up, uh, probably the biggest jacket of this video. Um, I do have the SAR, which is super big as well, but probably can't fit it all unless I get on my tippy toes. Uh, this is uh, Vism's Valdez coat. Uh, this is a wool pile iteration. Uh, this one is a size three and from the fall winter 2017 collection it uses a mud over dyed nylon for the shell polish white goose down for the filling uh, rayon lining 
and uh, has insane, insane details. Uh, I'll just go one by one. We have reinforced uh, contrast panel elbows, a MA1 style bomber uh, sleeve pocket. We have two snap um, button for this pocket, so I can get it. And then it has a cotton herringbone pocket line lining. Uh, that same pocket is on the other side. We have two front pockets as well uh, with cowhide reinforcements on either side. Um, we have a dual closure. So we have a zipper as well as a fold over button loop closure, as you can see. Um, we have waist adjustments on there and then hem adjustments as well. As you can see, uh, let's see. We have adjustable hoods. And uh, actually, the hood actually has a coyote fur lining, which is really interesting. We have a tweed hood lining. And uh, I think that might be it. We have some branding here as well. I believe this is uh, removable, this fur. Um, kind of hood lining and yeah I think that's it for the details this thing's just crazy it's crazy warm and uh, it's gonna be perfect for if you live in a super cold place um, I could see people wearing this in a place like New York um, it also does have a contrast uh, paneling on the back as well this thing's just crazy I think the retail of, retail of it um, was maybe like $5,000, I forget. Um, but I just know it was like absolutely insane. Um, but yeah. Okay, and moving on, we have Vism's uh, Yukata coat. I think I stand corrected. I just said that the Valdez was gonna be the largest jacket in this video. Uh, this, this one definitely takes the cake, I think. Uh, it's going down to about halfway to my calves. So you guys unfortunately aren't gonna be able to see the whole thing, uh, but this is their Yukata coat. Uh, I believe this is from their Fall Winter 17 collection and it's a size three. Uh, it's made out of this really nice custom wool linen and silk herringbone fabric. It has crazy texture and you can see the, the color threads that they use throughout are really, really nice. Um, it does come with an integrated um, natural dyed woven blanket belt, which is really nice. Uh, Yukata Co obviously has a Japanese inspiration with these huge belled out kimono sleeves. It does have uh, vents at the armpits and then even little like mitten things at the sleeves, which I think is really cool. Uh, obviously has that kimono, you know, open style, style collar. It does have integrated pockets as well. And I don't know if you can see, but it, uh, the sleeves are lined in rayon as well. Super cool and interesting piece if you have the balls to wear it out. Um, definitely an interesting offering from Visma. Uh, moving right along, we have Vism's SAR jacket. Uh, so what that stands for is Search and Rescue. Uh, so this was inspired after vintage Search and Rescue jackets. Um, this one is a size five and from the uh, Fall Winter 2021 collection. Uh, it's actually made out of this really nice uh, mud over dyed cotton nylon fabric. The SAR jacket has an oversized and wide fit with a drop shoulder and uh, balloon sleeves. Uh, details on this, like absolutely incredible. Uh, I compare it kind of to the Valdez earlier. Uh, you can pretty much go for days with details. So we have two MA1 style pockets on the sleeves. We have adjustable cuffs using this, uh, this buckle cinch detail. Um, it is have a rayon lining and then an interior, interior chest pocket. Um, we do have a front, two front fold over snap button pockets. 
as you can see, um, a uh, front zipper enclosure. Uh, the zipper does have a cotton zipper pull. Uh, we have a paneled collar, like so. Uh, we have chest reinforcement, also reinforcement along the back as well. And yeah, I think the waist or the hem itself can be adjusted. And yeah, if this was a smaller size, I would definitely keep. Uh, it's a very interesting and military kind of like workwear focused piece. And I think it would go well with pretty much anyone's system, wardrobe, and uh, yeah, just an awesome piece. Okay, and next up we have the Iris Catcher uh, down jacket. So this is much like their Iris liner jackets, uh, but this one actually features this really nice down kind of puffy uh, exterior. Uh, this one is a size four and from the Fall Winter 2019 collection. Uh, just like the other Iris silhouettes, this one does have a pretty regular uh, trim fit. Uh, it does look a little bit more oversized than other offerings, uh, just simply because of the puffy nature of it. Uh, but it's got great, great details. Uh, one being a really nice cowhide piping along the cuffs and then the collar as well as the hem, which is really nice. It's got a front, front zipper placket using a Swiss Riri zipper. And then obviously has this asymmetrical puffy um, exterior and then two side uh, hidden pockets. And has this really nice cotton herringbone lining. Um, this one actually is hand numbered. I believe there was only 50 made. Uh, this one is number 18, um, which is a really nice touch. It is actually reversible as well. So let me flip it to the reverse side. Okay, so this is the other side of it. Um, Personally, I prefer this side over the ladder. Um, has this really cool uh, panel section on the sleeves as well as the armpits. It has two slanted rounded pockets. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really cool and versatile piece. Gonna be perfect for the colder months. And uh, I really love how military focused this one is. Okay, and uh, so these last four jackets are, you know, four of my grails, like all time. So I'm really, really excited to be talking about them. Uh, for those of you who know, this is Vizim's uh, Fall Winter 7 G-Line Camo Coaches Jacket. Um, the story with these is really interesting. Uh, at the time, Gore-Tex did not allow anyone to do any washes um, on their fabrics in the factory. So Hiroki and his team actually had to bring all uh, the fabric back to his apartment and actually hand brush uh, this fabric. So as you can see, it does have this brushed faded look throughout the camera. And uh, it's just really interesting. And uh, the thought of Hiroki actually being the one who brushed this specific fabric for this jacket is really, really cool to me. Um, so the coach's jacket has a raglan, raglan sleeve construction, a regular fit, uh, two front slanted uh, snap button pockets, snap button uh, front fla uh, placket. Um, it does have uh, elasticated cuffs. Uh, you can adjust the waist if need be. Uh, the snap buttons are actually uh, Visvim branded if you can see. Unbuttoning it, we do see that it is entirely Cortex lined. So this is a waterproof jacket. Uh, it does have two interior um, pockets. This one is a size uh, medium. And uh, I would say it fits pretty true to size, maybe a little bit larger. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this jacket. Uh, once again, very rare to find and I really enjoy the story behind it. And, uh, and then again, it is a really practical and functional jacket, it being completely
completely waterproof. And uh, yeah, um, very, very happy to add this to my collection. Oh, actually, and then I forgot to mention, it does have um, Gore-Tex branding here at the cuffs as well. All right, moving along, we have the Zim's Elmendorf uh, jacket. Uh, this one is a size large, and it's from, I believe, around the 2006 era. I can't really um, uh, pin down the actual year this came out, but through my research, I have found out that this was the very first Elmendorf jacket that Vism ever made. Uh, they mark it as black, but really to me, it's a very, very dark brown and it's made using an incredible uh, lamb uh, leather and it does have uh, an aging, artificial aging um, process to it. Um, I think what they called antiquing uh, back in the day. So the Emmendorf has a pretty, pretty regular and trim uh, fit. It does have two fold over front pockets and then it does have ribbing along the cuffs and then the hem as well. It does have a front uh, zipper placket and then also has this uh, this hook clasp closure um, on the um, collar. They actually do have a snap button at here as well and then some military hook um, detailing on the shoulders there. And then obviously has um, this sort of military-esque patching on the chest um, super happy to add this to my collection. I've been looking for it for years now and I got this for a steal off eBay. It is in pretty rough condition. As you can see, um, the ribbing is actually ripping here along the cuff, but I think it just adds to the aesthetic and the worn in age characteristic. Um, I just think the aging here on the sleeve is absolutely insane and pretty much everywhere along the jacket. Um, it's just really, really awesome to see. Uh, this one is actually uh, lined uh, with a nylon uh, Gore-Tex windstopper lining, which is really nice. It does have an interior chest pocket. And uh, yeah, just such a uh, versatile leather piece. It's gonna be um, super nice to wear again in the colder months. And uh, I can't wait to have this and wear this for years to come. All right, moving along, we have Vistin's Varsity Jacket. Uh, this one is a size medium from the Spring Summer uh, 2011 collection. Uh, this one's really special because it's actually signed by uh, Hiroki himself. Um, but the, gar the Varsity Jacket uh, I guess back then had a very, very trim uh, cut. It had raglan sleeves and it had ribbing along the cuffs, collar, and hem. It does have a front zipper placket that uses a brass ruby zipper with a white leather pole. And then this actually uses an incredible uh, goat suede. This is probably the softest um, suede I've ever felt. Uh, Vism actually um, said that this is slightly waterproof as well and uh, I just can't get over how thin yet durable this goat suede is. Um, it blows my mind every single time I put it on and uh, it's extremely extremely comfortable. It does have uh, lined slant pockets on the front and it does have a uh, cotton cupro lining as well. And yeah, I'm just uh, in love with this piece. It's gonna be so wearable, uh, the color, and uh, I, the fact that it's signed by Hiroki just makes it that much better. All right, and uh, finishing off outerwear, we have probably one of my favorite uh, suede 101s Vism has ever made. Uh, so this is their 101 jacket IT in a pink suede. Uh, this one is size three and from the uh, spring summer 2017 collection. Uh, it uses an incredible mid-weight cowhide suede in this crazy pink 
colorway. Uh, this does have the typical fit of the 101, so pretty regular, uh, elongated sleeves, elongated body length, uh, two chest pockets, adjustable waist, cuffs, side uh, zippers, and then we have this incredible indigo dyed lambskin back patch. And uh, this is actually also uh, lined in leather as well. Very soft and supple pink leather. And uh, what I think is such a cool detail is they actually matched the zipper reinforcement with pink herringbone uh, cotton, which I think is a really cool touch. No one would ever notice uh, this reinforcement and they still felt the need to, you know, match the color with the actual color of the jacket. Um, this does use um, brass Riri uh, zipper. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with this jacket. I mean, obviously you guys know these pieces. Uh, they're just insane, made in Italy, probably out of the nicest suede you can find on earth. And uh, this color itself is just, uh, I've been wanting it for years and I'm just so glad I can finally have it. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this piece. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what your favorite item was from the entire uh, pickup video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Grail. The links will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to put post notifications both on Instagram and YouTube so you don't miss any of the Vism listings or the Vism content that I'll be doing in the future. Again, thank you for watching and have a good one.